like to highlight my outer eyes. These I keep my extra skincare and beauty products in these. Welcome back. Hopefully by now you've seen part one of my closet makeover and you've also hopefully seen my home goods haul that I'm going to be using in this video to organize everything in my closet. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and take a look down in the description box. I will have posted them there. So without further ado, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. So first let me do is catch you up to what you might have missed since my last video. So let me turn us around. So in my last video, you saw me put in this bookcase. You saw my light get installed, all the walls get done, my Ikea furniture together. Then you saw some of this stuff in my Home Goods Amazon video. And since you last have seen anything, I got this organizer installed. So this is another Home Depot organizer. So it has three shelves up here. I bought extra shelf kits so that there's a shelf above each rod that I can store things on and I also got extra drawers to go in the bottom so that it wasn't just open shelving. Now I bought three drawers but I think instead of putting another open shelf at the top I'm going to put in one more. So that drawer is on order and my Linman tabletop is still on order. Now over here you'll see while I'm organizing that this rod and shelf isn't installed yet. That's because this Billy bookcase is shorter in depth than is designed for these brackets. So I have to get a new bracket. So once those brackets get in, I'll be able to hang that one up with that shelf and the rod. So in the meantime, we're just gonna make it work because I have got to get stuff back in this closet. So I'm gonna start with shoes. So if you can see, I put in the Billy bookcase shelves to how I'm guessing that I want them for like flats. And then as you go up, we'll move up for heels for boots down here. So I did buy a couple extra shelves that go in the Billy bookcase so that I could have some of the shorter levels. So if you saw my home goods thing, I bought these things for boots. Hopefully they work. They're gonna help them stand up. So I think you just bend them. So I'm gonna get my boots in, get my shoes in, and we'll just hang out doing it. Hopefully I made this tall enough. So that, if you've never used these before, I just got these on Amazon, is so much better and so easy. I love it. one of the most exciting things for me for this closet is I ordered a Hollywood mirror for the top of my vanity. Now it's been sitting downstairs for a couple weeks and I haven't opened it because my tabletop is in here and I can't set it on anything but I just realized I'm way too excited and I want to open it and if it's broken or damaged or something I should probably know now so that I can get a replacement sooner. So here we go. So you can see right here, it's got this USB, which I like, so I don't have to worry about plugging something in, but here's this pretty mirror. I'm going to get it in the base and then I will be right back. <laughs> So there we go, that was super easy. Base is on, but for right now, I'm gonna stick this somewhere safe until my tabletop comes in and we'll keep going with organizing everything on the vanity. Okay, so it has been almost 
two weeks since the last segment that you saw in my video. So I have been waiting on my Ikea table and another Home Depot drawer to come in. Now the Home Depot drawer is supposed to come today. So hopefully a few minutes from now in this video, you'll see that it's here. But thankfully the Ikea table came yesterday for me. So I am going to set this up now. I have to admit that in the couple weeks since I filmed the last footage you saw, things have started kind of getting a little crazy in here. I just kind of set stuff in there. I've been taking Instagram pictures. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me over at Maria Nicole Beauty because you'll see that I'm taking some product shots in here. So it looks a little crazy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set you up. We are going to get that Ikea tabletop over here and then we're going to get all of my makeup organized. Finally. Here we go. So as you can see, I got my tabletop set up. Um, I'm really excited. It did have a little bit of damage in the back corner, but I think once I have products on it, you're not really going to get to see it. I could even probably touch it up with a little bit of white paint if I wanted. So I got my mirror all set up. Now, if you're using this video for inspiration and you're looking to set up a vanity, I would recommend getting a little bit larger of a mirror. I didn't get too big of a mirror because it is a closet and I didn't want it to take up too much of my spatial eye space. However, if I were to do it again, I'd probably get one that's a little bit larger, but it didn't bother me enough to send it back and get a replacement one. So I do like it. However, do know if you're looking, I want to make sure I'm being transparent with you guys. When I sit in this chair, looking at this mirror right now, I get cut off right about here and I am five, six. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to cut out a wood piece, paint it white and prop it up a little bit. But just know if you are looking to maybe do this same setup, if you're my height or taller, you'll probably have that problem. If you're shorter, then don't worry about it. Um, but I'm probably just going to make that little, um, I'm probably just going to make that little wood piece to prop it up just a bit. So you won't see that in that video. Follow me over on Instagram and you'll maybe see a picture of that later on. So I'm going to rearrange you guys. I'm going to set you up so that I can start going through my drawers and my organizers. But I want to make sure you guys have a closer look. Okay, so this side of my closet with my drawers under here, I am going to be putting makeup. And then on the other side, I'm probably going to be putting jewelry. So I got these jewelry things from the container store. And I will tell you, these are much bigger in person than I expected them to be. So I didn't take the tags off yet because I want to make sure I like how they look and make sure I don't want to return them. And then we'll figure it out. So I'm going to put them over here. Probably how I would use them. So if you guys can see that. I think I like it. I think I was worried it would take up too much space over on that corner. But I think now that I'm seeing it, I like it. And I'll get all my jewelry set up on it a little bit later. So now let's put in some of my acrylics. Okay, so this one comes with these little black felt pieces that you can put in the bottoms to protect your drawers. I'm probably not going to use them right away. I kind of look like the look of it just white, but I will hang on to them if I change my mind down the road. So this is going to go right here. And then I also have these two, so I have to decide what my plan is. probably definitely going to use this one I actually think I'm going to return because I don't have tons more space here for them because I don't really want everything too clogged so I think I'm going to return this one I really like it it'd be good for brushes eyeliners liquid lipsticks I just don't have too much desk space left over so I'm going to go ahead and just get a bunch of my makeup stuff and then we will start organizing them if you guys can see in these drawers I already put in these organizers, let me scoot you up a little bit. I already put in these organizers in that drawer and this drawer. I might not need to use them yet. Um, it's gonna be for my overflow as I get more product, but I'm gonna be seeing how much stuff I have as I go. I do have 
them over in my filming room, but I'm probably going to put some things that I intend to grab for the most often, since this is where I'm going to do my baby makeup. I'm going to try to pull from them up here, and then I'll put the rest in the drawer to my makeup. like to see me do a declutter video let me know because I definitely have some older you're seeing Mary Kay all my eyeshadows that are great I have just had them for a while and I probably just need to declutter so if you want to see a declutter video let me know in the comments below and we can try to do that So I got things mostly put away. I'm sure I will keep moving them around, but let me show you what I'm currently working with. So this big organizer that I have at the top, I just have some eye products, stick products that I will use as well as, you know, mascaras, brow products, eye pencils, eyeliners. I'll probably keep my most commonly worn foundations and primers up here. I have a couple more in my other room I need to put. Um, same with this. I have some extra holes for some lip products. I know I have in like different purses. Does anyone else have like six lip products in every single purse? Because I do. So I've got these up here, my powders behind it that I'm going to use on the daily. So more foundations in here. Apparently I have tons of concealers. I don't know how I ended up with more concealers than foundations, but I have concealers in here. This is all more lippies, um, mostly lip glosses. I wear glosses and liquid lipsticks a lot more than I wear tube lipsticks. This is other face products, blushes, contours, bronzers, and then you get into eye palettes and shadows. So down in this drawer, so in my drawer, um, I just have some overflow. So mascaras, eye primers, some different tools, as well as a couple things that didn't fit up there. So just some overflow. And then down here, I got lots of space for overflow. Right now, I've just got some perfume minis that I travel with, as well as some extra setting sprays that I like. So up here, I've just got different brushes, large face brushes, small face brushes, and eye brushes, as well as the tools, eyelash curlers tweezers for lashes and for eyelashes. And then I'm going to go through in a little bit and put some jewelry on. The other thing we have to do still before this closet is complete is to hang this final shelf on this side. Thankfully I have the brackets cut now. I had a special friend cut me them. So now I can actually get the rest of my clothes hung. So off camera, I went in and put in this last top shelf up here. Now, since these shelves were not designed to go with this bookcase, it required a little bit of an angling, so I had a helper come hold things, so I did that off camera. However, I'm gonna go in and install the rod really quick, as well as the trim piece, and then, dun 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 dun, the Home Depot shelf came in. So I'm gonna assemble it, I'll fast forward through it, and then we'll get to organizing the rest of my jewelry, skincare, and clothes, and we will be done. <laughs>
together and getting them out of the double box is literally the worst. I'm really glad I ended up getting the drawer kits. So this shelving unit does just come with more flat shelves, but I decided for the bottom that I wanted to do drawers so that it just hides my things better. I don't have to be quite as careful about nicely folding everything, although I try to keep it folded inside as well. But I'm excited about those drawer kits. Now I can get all the rest of my clothes moved back in. So I know you guys are watching this all at once, but for me, this should be my very last day of closeting, my last day of filming, and then I will get this aired for you guys. I am so excited. I've been working on this for way too long, and I cannot wait for it to be done. So all that's left, we're gonna get my skincare put in, we're gonna get the rest of my clothes back in, and I'm gonna give you guys a grand tour, and we're gonna be done. So if you've stuck with me so far, thank you so much. Let's get this finished up. So all of these baskets, I still need to go through what's in these because I have just been hoarding stuff in them over the last few years. So I'm gonna go through those. These big boxes that I got, I have already gone through and put my sweaters, sweatshirts, things that I'm not gonna wear at least until fall. So I have all sorts of things I'm gonna go through now just to put all the skincare away. I'm gonna put three of these baskets up on the other side, but I have to go through what I want to put in them. Then we'll get my jewelry done too. So you can see my wardrobe change into blue jean shorts. In the process of getting some of my older makeup palettes out of my other closet, I kind of had one shatter all over. So the shirt survived, but the shorts not so much. I think it's okay, I, got, I think I got it all cleaned off, but wardrobe change mid video. So now let's keep going. I'm gonna stay away from the palettes for a little while because they don't like me. what I did is I got these two beautiful organizers from the container store and I also got this stackers in drawer jewelry set so let's get that open so I can get my jewelry in I don't know you know what I'm just gonna rip it Hopefully I like it, just can't return it now. So cool thing about this is it can fit to the size, it can expand to the size of the drawer as long as you do measure appropriately this way. So I'm gonna get this filled with some of my stuff and then we'll get it in that drawer. Okay, 
so that's the jewelry I'm going to go through right now. I have more to come through later, but I'm not going to completely bore you guys. So this I can put right in here. I'm going to put the same Velcro tabs that I did in the organizers later so that they don't slip and slide around the drawer. But let me show you. So here's the drawer and that just fits in there beautifully. So I love that. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, finishing touches for the rug in the picture. If you watched my home goods haul, you saw me find this. I love it. So this is going to go right here on the floor. I'll show it to you. Yay! I'm done. So I'm going to give you a tour. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you thinking about getting anything? Of course, anything I used, I'll put down in the description box, except the things I found at Home Goods because it's always hit or miss if you can find them. So definitely check out that. But let me show you what we got. So as you know, we put in that IKEA bookcase to make into a shoe tower display area at the top. I've got baskets everywhere because I like keeping things organized. So clothes hangers. And then we get into my Ikea DIY vanity. So I've got the Linman table on top of two different Alex dressers, my Amazon chair. We've got my mirror, my jewelry organizers. So let's take a quick look. All of my makeup you saw me organize as much as I can, setting sprays, the nail polish I'm wearing right now, as well as some perfumes. I'll definitely be adding more jewelry as I go. But I've got that Stackers jewelry organizer that I got from the container store. They have all different kinds. And in these drawers I'm still working on. I can still put more pro makeup products as I get them in there. I've got hair care and nail care in there hair care, and then more hair care. These drawers are a little bit more organized with additional makeup. So I've got makeup. These are all the acrylic organizers I got in my home goods haul. More excess as I get more things. Some of my perfume littles. All my skincare. These are my minis that I need to use that I travel with as well as more excess skincare, things I have on deck to use in my morning and nightly routine. And then this is more of my bath relaxation drawer. So you saw the piece of art I found at Home Goods. I think it fits in here so perfectly. Then on this side, I got all those boxes to hide clothes I'm not wearing right now, shelves for purses, baskets everywhere and then those drawers so I've just got different clothing items more bags scarves things of that nature so I really hope you like this video I hope you like this series hopefully you saw my closet part one if you haven't take a look I will make sure I pin it down below it was a lot of hard work but it was definitely worth it I had fun getting things from all over finding exactly what's going to work in my closet so if you're about to do a closet project here's my tip don't try to make it exactly like mine because it's not my closet. It's going to be different shapes, it's going to be different dimensions, and you're a different type of person than I am. So make it what works for you. Definitely if you saw some products that you like, check those out. Grab those on Amazon or Ikea or Home Goods or wherever you're going to shop. But make it about you. Make it work for you. Whatever areas you need to have, whatever colors you like, whatever storage type solutions you need, do it for you. Thank you for so much for joining me. I know it just felt like a few minutes for you guys but for me this has been months in the making so i'm definitely excited to just enjoy my oasis and be done so if you haven't already please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it it would mean a lot to me with all the time i put into this amazing closet if you haven't already subscribed please do so i don't want you to miss any upcoming videos i'll probably be filming quite a bit of my makeup videos and tutorials in this closet now that it's done thankfully thank you guys i feel like i've gotten to know you so well just from this video bye